Hi guys! In this next video, I am going to discuss on theorems on isosceles trapezoid. Let's have the first one. First is the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So when we say isosceles trapezoid, this means that this is a trapezoid with one pair of congruent sides. So in this case, this is isosceles trapezoid L-O-V-E and its congruent sides here are L-E and O-V. And in here, LO is parallel to line segment EV. And when you say base angles, these are the angles found in the base of the trapezoid. So in this example, the base angles are angle E in here and angle V in here. So using this theorem, it states that angle E is congruent to angle V. So these two here are or have equal measurements so let's have an example here if number one if measure of angle e is 65 what is the measure of angle v so if this angle here is 65 then if we're going to find the measure of angle v it also means that this angle here is also 65 it's because these two angles are congruent or they have equal measurements Number two, if measure of angle V is equal to 5x minus 32 degrees and measure of angle E is equal to 3x plus 4 degrees, what are the measure of angle V and the measure of angle E? Now, using the theorem, base angles are congruent, so it means that they have equal measurement, so we can have measure of angle V is equal to measure of angle E. Measure of angle V here is equal to 5x minus 32, so we can just substitute that one in here. So 5x minus 32 will be equal to measure of angle E is 3x plus 4. Then solving for x or combining like terms, we're going to have 5x, then 3x will be transposed, this will become negative 3x. Then 4, then negative 32 transposed to the right side will become positive 32. Then 5x minus 3x will be 2x. Then 4 plus 32 will be 36. Then dividing both sides by 2, the answer will be x equals 18. Now to find the measure of angle V, angle V is 5x minus 32. So 5x minus 32, this is the equivalent measurement of angle V. So we are going to substitute x with 18, so 5 times 18 minus 32 this is the measurement of angle V so 5 times 18 will be this is 40 5 then this is 9 so this is 90 minus 32 this is the measure of angle V so 90 minus 32 that will be 58 degrees and since Measure of angle V is equal to measure of angle E here. It means that measure of angle E is also 58 degrees. Let's have the second one. Opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So again, if you are going to have supplementary, it means that the sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if we're going to have here isosceles trapezoid, H O P E so opposite angles of this one will be angle H and angle P so we're going to have measure of angle H plus measure of angle P will be equal to 180 degrees and the same with measure of angle E and measure of angle O so measure of angle E here plus measure of angle O is equal to 180 80 degrees again 180 degrees this is for supplementary okay number one if measure of angle h is 110 this is 110 here what is the measure of angle p so what is the measure of angle p here now since the total of these two is 180 and measure of angle h is 110 so we're going to subtract the two 180 minus 110 that will be 70 degrees so Measure of angle P is equal to 70 degrees. Number two, 
if measure of angle O is equal to 17x plus 15 degrees and measure of angle E is equal to 10x plus 3 degrees, find their measures. So since these two here, angle O and angle E are opposite angles, then it means that these two are supplementary or the sum of their angles is equal to 180. So we're going to have here measure of angle O plus measure of angle E equals 180 degrees. So measure of angle O is 17x plus 15. Then plus measure of angle E, 10x plus 3. This is equal to 180 degrees. So 17x plus 10x is 27x. Then 15 plus 3 is 18. And this is equal to 180 degrees. So transpose this one. So this is 27x plus 180 minus 18. That will be 162. Then dividing both sides by 27. 27x divided by 27 is x. And 162 divided by 27 is 6. So the value of x here is 6. Now we have the value of x so we can now find the measure of angle O and angle E. So measure of angle O is 17x plus 15. So x is 6, so we're going to have 17 times 6 plus 15. So 17 times 6 this is 42. Then 606 plus 4 is 102. Then plus 15. So that will be 117 degrees. Then measure of angle E, that will be 10x plus 3. So 10 times 6 plus 3. So 10 times 6 is 60 plus 3. That will be 63 degrees. And if we're going to add the 2, it will sum up to 180 degrees. Okay, last theorem. So the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So we have here an isosceles trapezoid H E A L. So diagonals here are H A and L E. So these are the diagonals. Now in here, it says that the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent, so meaning line segment HE is congruent to line segment LE. So they have the same measurement here. Now number one, if HE is equal to 10 centimeters, how long is EL? So if this is 10 here, it also follows that this one here is also 10. So we're going to have EL is equal to 10 centimeters. Number 2. If EL is equal to 2y plus 5 and AH is equal to 4y minus 3, what are their measures? So they are equal here. So we're going to have EL equals AH. Then EL is 2y plus 5. Then this is equal to AH 4y minus 3. Then combining like terms here, this is 2y minus 4y equals negative 3 then this is negative 5 2y minus 4y is negative 2y negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8 dividing both sides by negative 2 so negative 2y divided by negative 2 is y the negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4 so y here is equal to 4 so finding the measures el is equal to 2y plus 5 so we're going to have here 2 times 4 plus 5. Then 2 times 4 is 8 plus 5, that will be 13. If EL is equal to 13, it will also follow that AH is also 13. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about this topic, please comment down below and see you next time.